So I thought about it a little bit, and one of the best items I can probably get for Sliske is Ballista, because Ballista actually hits the Mime Phase. I don't know if most people know that. Ballista is really one of those items that used to be broken, used to be overpowered. Does anybody remember those days? Do you guys remember those old school revival days where Ballista was the best in slot? I believe that was before a Twisted Bow and everything, but um, nowadays no one really uses it. But I think it could be good for Sliske, so... I'm going to get that, and then what that allow me to do is not have to switch styles. I can just main one style, and that'll be um, just a lot more efficient. And then I honestly think we're good to go for Sliske. I think I can, like, legit kill some Sliske. So I might actually work on the corrupt, uh, the corrupt, what is it? I think it's just called corruption, yeah. I'm going to work on the corruption, and then if I can get two of those, that's my Armadale. And I'll, go, I'll go immediately to Armadale and, uh, and put those all together. But, yeah, we just got the monkey tail, and I'm going to try to stay here and, and get the other piece as well. So I've thought about it more, and I really like the Ballista idea. I'm going to take a break from that for now, just to move on to some other things. Um, but the benefit to that is, if we're going to go the Ballista route, what? That, that's funny. This dude just got tacits as well, and that's actually something I need, so we just talked about it. Uh, anyways, if Ballista route is the way we're going, which we are, we don't need the Silver Maw. And it's, up. if I'm not mistaken, it's pretty good to gamble, so... Let's see what we can do. We're, we're, we only need, like, 2k points to get a... A raid box. So as long as we don't get super shit up, we should be opening a raid box here. Yeah, 7,500. That's actually pretty good. Oh, nice. 6,000. That's nice. That's cool. Alright, so we can definitely open a raid box. And we're close to another one. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. I think I'm... Oh, shit, dude. I think I need the Uber components, man. I really want to look at the pugs. It, uh... The gambler in me wants to do the gamble, because what would I need? Oh, you know, I wouldn't even get that money. Even if I maxed out, it's not enough. I'm just going to do the smart thing and disassemble that for components. So, not bad. Not bad. It's closer to the luck of the pugs. Nice. We just got a bone sack. That is, that opens up some new opportunities, man. That's, that's interesting. I might have to see what all the fuss is. Bone sacks are pretty popular. Everybody likes to, everybody loves the sack. I'm gonna have to go kill some KVD. We also got a couple of, you know, goodies. Nothing too crazy. I just, I, I just got the baby monkey pet from a mystery box. That is so cool. That is a pet I do not have. I am very happy to get that. That is one of the rare pets in game. That is a 1 in 256 chance to hit the table. And then there's like 30 items on that table. So this is a really rare pet. Very happy to have it. That's, that's really cool. I'm very happy. Hey, we just got our first fossil box. Uh, I don't know which one that is. Let me look. So not great. I think that that. Oh wow, Gabo's just got one. <laughs> just we was just asking about that. Yeah, not great. But I think that's ten mystery boxes. So that's not bad. Okay, so we got another box. Uh, skulls. Nice. So the skull is actually the second best item. So that's pretty good. Well, the second best fossil, I should say. Well, that was bound to happen. Nice. <laughs> the Calfire Princess. So, I have enough poke points for a raid box. Uh, I've been getting uber box, or not uber boxes, uh, unique boxes the last few times, and really haven't gotten very lucky, so let's try a raid box this time. I, uh, I regret my decisions. Next thing is, it is 75k uber components, so... Damn. All right, so I just killed the Byrophyta boss seven times. Um, you probably saw that already. I, I uploaded it in a second video, but if not, this is a quick summary of what we got. We did get an Eternal Crystal, which is a nice boot upgrade for us. Not bad. We also got a Mahogany Chest 6. And then, of course, you always get a bunch. You get five Sinister Keys per, so we've got that. We got two Kraken Drops, which is actually cool. One of them is cool anyways. That is a crack of tentacle right there. That should be good for a loon. I believe that's one of the best items you can use to kill a loon. So the fact that we have that unlocked now is pretty nice. And then I guess the second one we will just disassemble for components. Um, couple mystery boxes, get bags, open those up. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. So what I'm going to do is pretty much just grind the hell out of the next 24 hours. Um, it's currently, uh, there's currently a, a mini event going on, 24 hours of extra luck boosts. So I'm just going to try to play as much as I can and maximize everything. So you'll probably see a bunch of random clips of random stuff here and there. I have no clue. Holy shit, dude. So I had a jar of decay, right? 
I knew that they were good, but I got, like, I, I genuinely got, like, almost the max amount you can get. The max amount you can get is 3 million. We got 2.999 million. Wow. That is cool. That is a lot of mystery boxes. We are, we're about to have some dank openings. We got 91 boxes. Didn't really get you much. We did get a $5 bond. That's cool. I got four elite mystery boxes. Not, not like the worst, but also not the greatest. So rip. All right. So the owner uh, gave everybody a mossy key. So we're doing, we're doing mine here. Let's see what we get from this bad boy. Here we go. Come on. Oh, okay. I'll take it. That's. that's it's five mystery boxes, five sinister keys. I'll take it. You know what time it is. Raid box time. Ah, nah. I'm just gonna just gonna gamble them. We only need three three k. Really, only two point four. So maybe we'll get lucky and get another box and then get torture boo. Yes. Crap. Why is that not updated? I need to update that. Darn. Well, uh, whatever. Hey, we just got a Black Tourmaline Core. One of the rarest items you can get from Sea Troll Queen. Pretty much like like the fifth or sixth kill in. That is awesome. That is that is Guardian Boots. Yes! <clears throat> we finally get a third age piece, and it's actually like the best possible piece. That is so awesome. I don't know how many clues I had when I started. You can go back and check my first episode, but I've opened a ton of clues. Master clues and hard clues combined. My first third age piece, I am perfectly fine with it because it is the best piece. Um, currently the the only like good raid item I have is Obsidian Playbody, so it goes perfectly with that. I might actually be able to get fifty prayer bonus, I wonder. Yeah nice, we can easily we can easily get to say, uh, to plus fifty prayer bonus. If you didn't know for the Akthanakos boss um, you need fifty prayer points to damage him. So or fifty fifty prayer bonus rather. So we can do that. What can we trade out? Not really that, but I mean, honestly, this gear right here looks pretty solid. I might actually go kill some. Got another Briar Fighter Q. Drive of Darkness, not bad. So I just killed a Skitizo, and that was actually my 30th uh, Ancient Shard. So we can make ourselves this Dark uh, Arcolite. It was recently buffed. Uh, I'm gonna go give it a go at Demonic Gorillas. But before we do that, let me go spend some points. Um, yeah. Yeah, raid box. Woo! Woo. Alright, <laughs> let's buy one more. Darn. Eh, I guess we're halfway to the next one. Eventually, I'll get I'll get Tebow or something. On actually doing something a little different this time. We're gonna get a rare box, and the reason why is we are at 464,000 components. All we need is 500k, and we have our lot per right away. Let's hopefully get. I don't know if that's gonna be enough. Oh, we're so close. I have nothing, man. I got nothing. Wow, we we just got 500k. How many are we? 500, 500, 500, nice. We can finally make our luck with the pugs. That is the last invention update that we're going to go for. I'm not going to go for an imbued eye or anything like that. Um, yeah, man, that's, that's crazy. Do I have a, yeah, I have just enough lucky components too. I, I, lucky components are always easy to get. I've got clues here, but. Man, I'm happy to have this. And the nice thing about it is we can immediately alk the luck of the pug scroll and go. Uh, what do I. Uh, what am I missing? Oh, it's probably the Lucky Components. Yeah. Oh, nice. I don't remember how to make an internal Lucky Pugs, so I'm going to go look into that real quick and see if that's doable. All right, nice. So I did, I was pretty sure it was just Uber Components, but I wasn't too sure. I've definitely got enough stuff in here to get some Uber Components. Let me just assemble some things. All right. I don't know. Oh, yeah, there it is. Eternal Lucky Pugs. Nice. We have our ring, our in-game ring done. Nice. Hey, I just got the uh, drunk zombie pet. This is a pretty cool one right here. I like this one. A little rum. Not bad. We'll take it. 
Wow, that's funny. I just finished coding a video on the guy, uh, on this staff. And I, I, like, I just finished it, and then I ended up getting my first Uber Bear table job, which is actually a Magic Chess 7 on Glod. That is, that is odd, but I'll take it. I will take it. I am kind of cheating right now because I'm borrowing a weapon, but I just finished that video, and I'm currently in the process of editing, so... Oh, wow, that's actually really useful. I, I figured I would record just in case, but shit, that's actually useful. I have all, I have all the boots now. Nice. Boot set, man. Not bad.